Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure. I'm your host, Old Director Jester. What is this soundtrack in the background? It's, it's I don't know, it's, it's pretty damn cool, isn't it? I know, I feel like I should be at a rock concert. I will always say that the best part of most Sonic games is the soundtrack. I wanna fly into yeah, the sky! Exactly. Shut up, you know you love that song. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you keep thinking of it. Yeah, yeah, that's why. At first it repulsed you, but now as it just creeps further and further into your mind, you're starting to like it more, aren't mm. you? Keep believing what you think. Anyway, what are we doing today? I'm going to believe in myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, we, we got to take a, a little trek through the jungle as Amy, because now we got to head back up to uh, the egg carrier wreck. Because... It's been a little bit since I last recorded uh, getting this footage, and uh, I accidentally did the final egg stage again, and was confused when nothing happened. <laughs> By the way, free free emblem in the middle of the jungle. Oh, cool. It's neat. And uh, the game really doesn't tell you where the wreckage of the egg carrier is. You just kind of have to guess, and then you just kind of know. So... Uh, uh, for now, we'll just get out of the jungle. It's really hard to do because Amy is not good with slopes, as I've mentioned earlier. So what you're just saying is the egg carrier just crashed somewhere in this forest, and we couldn't see it fall? Well, I, we just didn't see it fall. Oh. Then I think it's like, our, our, like, this is after the Chaos 6 battle and everything, so well, now then... we're getting into some really late game stuff now. If we didn't see it fall, how do... Well, I guess we did. We were on it when it started, like, blowing up or whatever. I'm just wondering, how do you not see that? And how do you phase through ladders? Ladders are not fun. Ugh. I guess we'll, uh, take it slow here. I just want to do what I did in, uh, Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon and just jump up the ladders, you know? No, that was a good game. Ha! Yes. Ha! You admitted it, finally. Oh, yeah, I'll always admit Goemon's better than Sonic. Yeah, that's that's a, that's fair to assume. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I think I can go to bed uh, saying that. <laughs> Gone by Goemon is a better series than the Sonic series. Yeah, that sounds uh, right. Okay, okay, cool. Anyway, uh, on to this uh, silly game. Where could that wreckage be, Amy? Let's go find it. Can ask the puffball. <laughs> Turns out it's on top of Tails' workshop. Ah! Station Square <laughs> will be departing soon. Go to the egg carrier crash site. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> how do we get there? Well, you have to head down here. Really? You take a raft. Okay, how would you know to do that? Exactly. It's just, just take the raft, go to those rocks over there, and then you're at the egg uh, carrier. How would you know to do that? You just gotta know. I'm serious, you just no, gotta know. No, there, there is literally no NPC, NPC who is just there just to tell you where to go. I'm pretty sure that there's some NPC somewhere that would tell you, but really, you just gotta kind of either guess or you gotta know, because talking to people is not really productive or conducive to any progress. Yay, it's them! Oh, by the way, birds are here. Hey, birds! Turns out their family was here, after all! Well, oh my gosh, it's a good thing we just surprisingly new to go on a raft to find them and oh look there's one dead nah, there we go Are you okay? how did you oh, not yes. hear or see that guess I'm eating chicken tonight you idiot how could you do this you idiot see now she's going to power up I would <laughs> like to say that uh, this upcoming fight is easier than advertised but I'm, I just fuck up a lot mm-hmm so, I'm just gonna cover my ass right now. But, uh, essentially, this is Amy's pitiful boss fight, where she finally faces her attacker, and, like the independent woman she is, beats the crap out of him. Oh, well, good. This thing is, Zero's not very bright. As we've <laughs> Imagine that. established many, <laughs> many times. He still has his own oh. moves, but you just gotta hit him into the, uh, electric fence. Gotcha. And hit his weak spot. Oh, and you got the little power waves, too. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's, as soon as you hit the guy, I kind of immediately knew how to fight this. Are all the bosses kind of this easy? Like, the future bosses. Um, Sonic's bosses were really the hardest ones. 
You know, like the egg, uh, that egg wyvern that we had as his final boss. Mm -hmm. That was probably the toughest boss in the entire game. Well, especially because it had like a like a gotcha moment. It's like, ha! -ha! Yeah, so that was, that was a really good boss fight. But Zero puts up a fight by the time you get the second hit in. Now he's like, wait a minute, this isn't working, so now I'm going to try. Because when you hit him, you, you can't really get the combo because then he jumps and just cancels your hitting animation. Hmm. And then that happens, and then, yeah. So it's a patient boss fight, if anything. I suppose. Hmm. And especially when I'm trying to grab my rings, and then I end up dying. And oh I my just that gosh, up. you died to the robot. And then Zero groped her until Kingdom Come. Whoa, hey now. Whoa, okay, alright. Save that for Sonic's fan fiction. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's plenty <laughs> of. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, this uh, is great. Uh, all right, uh, a answer me this, all knowing uh, Sonic fanatic. Where did those lasers come Don't from? Don't call me that. Okay, uh, sorry. As a uh, as a Sonic Adventure enthusiast. Sure. Okay. Where, we'll, we'll, I'll grant you that. Where did that electric gate come from? Because it seems like it literally fell from the sky. I don't know. It <sighs> just kind of did, yeah. Maybe it's uh, maybe Zero set it up, thinking, "Haha, now I have trapped her in this trap that Eggman had set up." That is here. I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll just say it's another brilliant plan by Dr. Eggman. Okay. D did he also program this uh, highly intelligent electric robot to also throw temper tantrums every time he gets hit? Mm. Kind of explains the shockwaves. It's like, no, don't hit me! I see what he did. It looks like he made a robot out of his trash can. <clears throat> so what do you think he has, like, stashed in there? Like, maybe this is all just a clever ruse from Eggman to try to destroy his own trash can robot. I think I know what's in what's inside that trash can robot. Hmm? The design bible for Sonic Adventure 3. Oh! Ah, that's ah, why he wants ah, to get rid of it. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that was close. And God, don't die, Amy. Oh, you stupid mm. cow. <laughs> God. <laughs> See, this is, w w this is when you... Uh, you drop your cheery demeanor and you start throwing the insults as you do you normally. See, I just want to hit him, but he won't let me hit him. <laughs> well, would you want to get hit? Woman's got a hammer. I wouldn't want to get robot. hit by that. He's, he's not supposed to learn like that. <laughs> Watson, Watson wouldn't be developed for like another ten years. And then sometimes you just get good RNG and then you just, you know, kind of... Hit him into the fence right there, and there you go. <laughs> Praise our in Jesus. And Yay! Bam. Under 30 seconds, no less. And all right, Amy, you might want to get away from that. It, oh, 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 this counts as a death. If you didn't, if you didn't get away fast enough, it actually takes a life from you. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden 2 did it. Oh God, you're right. I think mm -hmm. all the Ninja Gaidens did that, didn't they? Right. I mean, the newer gen ones. The only one I really played through was Ninja Gaiden 2. Because the first one was way too fucking hard for me to even give a shit about, and the third one was shit. Yeah, like, I'll agree with that. Absolute shit. Like, this is gold compared to Ninja Gaiden 3. Please wake up, birdie. No, the bird died. Are you okay? Can you fly? UDJ? Yeah. Tell me he's gonna be alright. Yeah, he's gonna be alright on my dinner plate. Ah! Uh... Pull! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's not okay! <laughs> no, Birdie! I guess he's a waterfowl now. Oh, oh that, of he's course okay. he's alright! Oh, well, it almost had me there. Whoa, Whoa I didn't know birds could fly. Or in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> we shall tell our overlords your evil ways. Redemption will come to you one day, small pink hedgehog. You in this cruel world. Heed our warnings and prepare for total domination and extinction. What silly birds! <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> Try my best too! 
<laughs> but the future refused to change. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh grind your heel into his head young lady make him know his place whoa even if i have to lock him in my basement and that's the end of amy's story oh really so hi bird bye bird okay that's it one day i did some things with a bird the end amy rose everybody that's pretty much it Just happy to be here Her her entire campaign was the grand total of, what, two two in-game days? And it was just, you know, messing around with the bird. By the way, I misspoke. I think uh, she does better in Sonic Advance. Well, Sonic Advance was a, just a regular 2D side-scroller, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I don't know if she was in two or three, but in the, the advanced games that she was in, she was good. Okay, so. good. We're not going to be seeing her in Sonic Adventure 2! No, oh, no, we get even better characters in Adventure 2, right? Yay! I love the idea of Sonic Adventure 2. It's got the best characters. It's it's fine. It's good. It's really good. I'm but, sure it is. See, the thing is, I play Sonic Adventure 2 in Japanese. <laughs> because, because... <laughs> yeah. Purest swine. But don't, but don't worry, we'll be playing in the English language for the Let's Play, because that's oh, going to give a lot more laughs, certainly, especially when they override one another. The lines oh, no to, way! Oh, yeah, the lines overlap one another like we do sometimes. <laughs> oh, good! <laughs> sweet, sweet, you're so sweet. Are you listening to this song? I I'm trying not to, really. It, it's pretty much saying being greedy and being selfish is being an independent girl. Because I've got the strength to do it. Ain't no man gonna tell me what to do because I'm gonna overtake him and his life. So, so if you need a good uh, point for point summary on how to be a strong, independent female, just, uh, you know, play Amy Rose's story. I don't see Anita Sarkeesian talking about this game. <laughs> oh, you did not just start that. <laughs> Oh, God. Please, no. <laughs> but anyway, the end of Amy's story. <laughs> yeah. The end of Amy's story, the end of my credibility. <laughs> Yay! Hey. So who's next? Um, well, uh, what do you mean, who's next? Oh, wait, there's only there's only there's... two stories left, isn't there? What? No, I'm just, there, there's, there's just the one. Just, just the one. That's <gasps> it. Oh, I know who's next now. No, 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 no. You, see, no, you don't know who's next. Yes, I do. It could, it, it could be. I could. I could switch it up. I could. I could do. You want to? I, I could do Gamma next, and then I. Could, that, that's that's the end after oh, that. Nothing after that. Nope, that. Nothing one. after that. Yeah, I yep, forgot about Gamma. But anyway, hail to the king, baby! <laughs> yes, I've been wanting mm. to see you play this because I know mm. how god awful it is. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> Hmm. Is it truly that bad? I've been defending this game pretty heavily, wouldn't you say? Oh, good. That, that's a brilliant like, start. Sure, sure. It has its <laughs> issues. Certainly has its issues. I mean, it's not a perfect game. And it hasn't aged really well either. But for the nostalgia's sake and for the fact that it's got a great sense of speed, you know, I've been, I've been saying a lot of nice things about this. You know, it's, and it hasn't been that bad, has it? You've been you've been genuinely impressed for most of this, haven't you? Yeah, sure. It's like, it's like oh, oh, that's pretty neat. That's that's pretty nice. It's, it's good when they put some effort and some thought into their level design. That's actually really nice. However, everything that I've been saying, every little defense that I have, goes to pieces when we talk about Big the Cat. Yeah. <laughs> This Woo! is gonna be a shit show. This, this the next few episodes are gonna be an absolute shit show. Yes. And I was thinking, oh well, the Grumps had a really hard time with Big the Cat. Not gonna <laughs> be that bad for me because I know how to play the game. I'm the Sonic Adventure Master. That's me. <laughs> That's who I am. I'm gonna do great, and I do and I do do better than the Grumps. So we're not gonna be here for like 45 minutes doing the same damn thing, but we're gonna be. Mm. <laughs> oh, please tell me this, because yeah, yes. I've been wondering. Mm -hmm. Is there a trick to it? <laughs> okay, maybe I should save that for the next one, but I'm I'm excited now. I gotta see this. Oh boy. Oh joy. 
you know, if, if you want, you can just, like, wait a, a few more weeks and you can just skip right to the Gamma episodes. I would not blame you if you just want to do that. But the yes. best part is, no one's going to, because they want to see it as much as I do. Of course they are. So, <laughs> alright. <laughs> Next time on Sonic Fucking Adventure, <laughs> what you all want to see, the Big the Cat levels. And let me tell you one thing, it's going to be terrible for me, but wonderful for you. So, yeah, so we'll see you next time! This is payback for The Undertale. Oh.